Hey everyone, welcome back to Waste the Paycheck Garage. I finally got another little update for you guys on my new engine. I finally got my partial short block back from the machine shop. And uh, I'm hoping to get it installed in the truck within the next month. But you know how those things go. I've also got another project that you guys are hopefully going to see very soon. I just need to figure out this top mount here and get my... Uh, Hood latch and everything worked out and get my plumbing done but that is another video for you guys hopefully very soon but without any further ado i guess i'll uh, show you guys my new engine all right i know you guys have been waiting on this for a very long time it's been about a year since I posted that video saying I was going to make a 500 horsepower 300 straight six. And uh, I wasn't lying to you. I'm still trying. But uh, this block was at the machine shop for about eight months. And I actually just picked it up about two weeks ago. And uh, I'll let you guys look at it here for a second. And then I'm going to go over everything that's in it and everything that I ordered for it. And everything that I had in the machine shop do to it. Very, very, very nice looking block. I'm very happy with it so far. And uh, I'll come over here and I'll show you guys what I got going for it. This is all stuff that I ordered for it or everything that is either installed for it or sitting in boxes around here waiting to be installed. I've got, I'll start from the bottom and work my way up. I got a uh, Melling High Volume Oil Pump, ARP main studs, and it's also got ARP studs on the Molnar connecting rods. It's got Molnar Forge rods in it, DSS Forge pistons. I think they're 30 over if I remember correctly. It's got an Ursum, Urson Custom Grand Cam, not installed yet. I'm going to do that myself. I got a new timing gears for it from Melling, uh, cast timing gears. I've got a Promax CNC head sitting over here in the box. I know you guys have seen that in the last video uh, that I did about this engine. Uh, it's got big valves in it, 1.94, I think, inch uh, intake valves, I think. I can't remember. I always get that flip-flopped. It's got 7 16 rocker studs, big valve springs, CNC ported uh, exhaust and intake ports. Uh, and I've also got Harlem Sharp roller rockers right here. These are the 7 16 flavor. And um, I haven't opened them yet, but they look very nice. And that covers just about everything for performance parts. And here's everything that I had the machine shop do to it. They turn and balance the crank, put new cam and crank bearings in it, line board them. Uh, they deck the block, board and hone the cylinders. They did gap the rings, and I did have them assemble the partial short block. So they put the, the crank, the rods, pistons in it, gap the rings for me, and uh, partially assembled it. Now... The next steps are for me to mostly assemble the engine, at least the external parts. Uh, my new valve cover, I need to finish that. It's sitting over here. My custom two-piece valve cover. Got to weld that together, get it all sanded down. So I'm going to get the whole engine sealed up, mostly assembled, minus like push rods and stuff like that, because I haven't measured and ordered those. Once I get it assembled, I'm going to paint it. And I got a few things going for me here. I'm going to do a two-tone paint scheme on it. Um, the push rod cover on like those X's there and around the outside I think are going to be white. And um, I'm also, I ordered this stencil I had custom made. I'm going to do this original Power by Ford. This is what's on my other valve cover. It's stamped right in there. I'm going to paint it on my new valve cover since these aftermarket valve covers don't have it. And for the color on the secondary, um, I've got this PPG shop line. Way too nice of paint, and I, I mean, I had to get a pint of it, but way too much paint. But I went with Wimbledon white, same color as my wheels, pretty much. Uh, that's the wheels are International Harvester white, but Wimbledon is kind of a, what Ford used in the 70s on their wheels and stuff. And for the primary color, I went with WA388A. It's a GM color called Blew Me Away. 
and it is what it is the same color as the rest of the truck. Now the the rest of the truck is a premium uh, a premium base clear. This is a, an acrylic enamel, so this is a single stage. You can, however, clear over the top of it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to. And uh, so that's what I'm doing for paint. I'm hoping to have this engine assembled and installed in the truck within the next month, but I'm not gonna make any promises. I've got a lot of other projects going like that intercooler. And uh, I've also got that tractor torn in, in two, and um, I've got a couple other things going around here. Not to mention everything going on at the farm. But uh, progress is being made. I wasn't lying. I am still attempting the 500 horsepower 300 straight six. It's just a long process, especially when, you know, your budget, you know, your budget's not very big and you're working with uh, a little bit of spare time that you have. Not to mention I have like three other vehicles that I'm working on and driving every day and working on. At the end of the day, this is just a project for me. And uh, I'm hoping to have that new engine in there within the next month. So I will ask that you guys stay tuned. And I'm hoping to have another update video for you guys shortly. And uh, until then, you guys can expect that intercooler video. And uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be anything else in between. But until then, thanks for watching this Ben Wasted Paycheck Garage.